Hey guys, what's up? So, 3D printers can have a lot of very cool uses, and can have even more when used with materials other than typical PLA or ABS filaments. A fairly popular specialty filament is NinjaFlex, a thermoplastic polyurethane filament with a short 85A hardness and a whopping 660% elongation rating. Today I'm going to show you how to print with NinjaFlex on a series of printers that's notorious for being pretty intolerant to anything other than PLA, the MakerBot 5th generation. Since we are working with the infamous Smart Extruder, you will need to do some finagling to get NinjaFlex working. Let's start with loading the filament. Do the standard loading operation and put some PLA in. After a bit is extruded, release the tension by pressing the lever and yank out the filament. This helps to clear the hot end to allow easy movement of the NinjaFlex. Start the loading process again and let the NinjaFlex be pulled through. As soon as the old filament switches to the new filament, end the loading process. One quick note on mounting, you will probably need an external filament holder as NinjaFlex spools will not fit in the built-in holders. But don't worry as there are plenty of designs out there for spool holders. For settings, it's easiest to set up a new print preset, which is pretty easy in MakerBot Desktop. First setting you need to change is temperature. You should have it around 220 Celsius. On the topic of heat, you should make sure your fan is on and change the fan layer to 3. You'll want to turn your travel speed down to around 100 millimeters per second and turn all extrusion speeds that are more than 40 millimeters per second to 40 millimeters per second. Also, turn your retraction distance to 4 millimeters and your retraction speed to 40 millimeters per second. You should use three shells and increase the roof and floor thickness as well to 1.2 millimeters. Keep rafts on, but don't worry, they're actually pretty easy to remove. Finally, if you happen to be using a Z18, it might not be a bad idea to increase the chamber temperature. Just a bit. I'll have all these settings written out in the description. Now all you have to do is pick a design and print it. Flexible filament is a very cool and fun material to print with that opens up a lot of doors for creative uses of 3D printing. I know I, for one, am looking forward to playing around with it some more, so stay tuned for some upcoming projects involving it. As I said, I'll have the settings in the description alongside links to where you can buy NinjaFlex, find a good spool holder, and find some cool flexible filament prints. I also want to mention that this may be my last video for a couple of weeks. I might decide to put out another video, I'll see. Anyways, if you like this video, then you should know what to do, and if you want to follow my work, then subscribe. I'll catch you later, XYZ in, out.